Hey guys, you out for another cruise on the GS. What else? What else? What else? And I don't even know what I'm going to talk about today. I don't even know what. I just felt like turning the camera on, run some errands, go for a ride. It's cloudy, but it's really warm. It's 67 degrees. Uh, so, you know, I've got my light gear on, even though it looks like the same gear I wore, but I got no layers on, just, uh, just the jacket, gloves, and stuff. And uh, I figured I'd just go cruising, like I said, just do some errands and just ride around. And uh, as you can see, I got a different uh, shield on. It's cloudy. I don't like to run the, the other shield when it's cloudy out. Uh, I'd rather just run this one. This one fits better. This is a factory one. Um, uh, but whatever. So I, I always switch. I'm always switching, you know. Um, yeah, so I'm, like I said, I don't, I don't even know what to talk about. I just figured I'd cruise, turn the camera on. Uh, it's a little windy today, but that's okay. And I got the, the, the windscreen down so you get a better view, you know, uh, when we're riding. I feel a little bit more wind, but that's okay, especially when it's, you know, warm like this. I can't believe it. It's February, uh, first week of February, Thursday, uh, 4th, I think, whatever. And, um... The weather's like this. Now we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow, and then we're going to get a little, uh, a little bit back to a little bit colder weather. But you know, in the 50s and stuff, which is still not bad. You know, still, still riding weather. And uh, yeah, on the 96, they just, they just uh, going south, and they paved this. They recently paved it, which is kind of nice. And uh, I'm just going to try to take some back roads. I don't like to stay on 96 for a long time. It's a nice road, but what the heck. So I was just thinking about, um, I don't know, you guys seen the last video where I uh, did the acceleration test, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool, 3.25. I just threw that in there. I didn't really think I was going to do it. I did it at the end of the video, and then I just kind of cut it and put it in the middle, not in the middle, you know, somewhere in the media, as I was talking about performance, and I put it in there. And 3.25, I mean, that's pretty quick. I mean, that's uh, supercar territory, you know? That's where, um, you know, all the fast, high-dollar, uh, expensive, exotic cars. And uh, But, I, you know, bikes are, you know, they're going to move out a lot quicker, 0 to 60. They're always going to be doing uh, really well. And uh, I'm sure those supercars will start passing you about 100. I mean, this bike anyway. I'd be curious. I don't know you guys weren't curious, but I'd be curious to see what this thing does at the drag strip. You know, I'm a quarter-mile guy. I'm a drag strip guy. I love drag racing, uh, and but I just can't get the I can't launch this thing that good. I keep it in. I do have the wheelie control on, but it's the least least amount of suppression, so it, it does maybe come up two feet or something. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, and uh, was this? Uh, I think this is it. Yeah. I'm just going some roads I know. Yeah. So you know I um. So I keep that on because I don't know. I don't trust myself. I mean, I don't want to go over backwards. I, I'm sure I would be able to catch it, but there's no point because if you don't feather the throttle right and you don't leave at the right, you know, getting that right launch, you know, wheel in the air is just not going to, if it's really high, you're not going to get a good time. It's just, I mean, it's just good for you shits and giggles, I guess, you know, to you know, show your buddies and stuff, but it's not... You know, it doesn't, it's not great for acceleration, and obviously you don't want it to bog, so it's just like, you know, with a, with a, with a clutch, it's just, it uh, takes a lot of practice, and uh, I don't know if they make any of these launch controls with these bikes that are really any good, because no matter what kind of launch control you, you can't just pop the clutch, you gotta let the clutch out gradually as you keep it, you know, to the wood, I guess it's, you know, you have it all cranked all the way, and uh, I guess it just meters the, the power out as you uh, feather the clutch, but... Oh yeah, I remember this one. Oh, nice, 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 nice time. So, yeah, so I, I don't know. I thought that was pretty good, and uh, but I'd, I'd be curious to see what this thing would run. I've seen other videos, not videos, but I guess it's like nobody's. I've, I've never seen anybody go down to the, uh, the drag strip with one of these. So that'd be kind of cool if I had my camera and you know <clears throat> go to the drag strip and see what this thing will run. And I think the best I've seen the times printed with low 11s like 11.2 which is that's a pretty that's pretty fast uh, but um and then i've seen as uh, slow as you know 12 o's so it just depends i guess on the rider it's all about getting this thing out of the gate 
but uh, yeah, and uh, you know, it likes to pull the wheel, and uh, it's uh, and with the suppression on, it doesn't work as good as I think the Ducati does. My buddy had a Ducati uh, Diavel, and you could see when he launched it, the wheel would, you know, the front wheel would come up maybe two or three feet, and but the power wouldn't just abruptly cut; it would just slowly stop it from coming up any higher, and it would still be accelerating really, really hard. Whereas the BMW, it seems like it really cuts the power pretty good. Uh, until you it settle back down so it would be nice if they could just kind of meter it where it just stays at a certain point for us novices that are not good at doing wheel stands and uh, you know doing the wheelies and like these professional guys do I was watching a video of this one guy doing it in the dirt I, I just couldn't believe it I don't know where this one goes but we're going this way just want to try new roads folks you know so whatever so that's just the performance end so i thought that was kind of neat i don't know if it surprised some of you guys 3.25 and i did verify with my gps because i did have my gps i didn't show it but the, you know it shows 64 miles an hour on the uh on the video but uh this thing is off by three or four mile an hour uh, uh it's not a percentage it's no matter what you're doing if you're doing 100 it's doing like 103 104 it's just uh it always shows uh, uh, uh faster than you're actually going so i uh so I thought that was pretty good. I mean, it's not like perfect, but it's pretty close. So it's that de de definitely was a, 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 a mid mid uh, three and a half second zero to sixty, which to me is is really cool. I, I'm impressed with that, and I'm impressed that I could do it. So and you know you see how the launch wasn't super. It was you know it bogged a little bit. Uh, you know you need to feather them, ride the clutch out, but that's really hard on the clutch. So yeah, so I, I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway. So, I mean, you guys interested in, in, in how fast your bike is as far as accelerating? Or that doesn't really something that, you know, you're just more into the cruise and you don't really care about uh, that kind of thing. I always think about performance and any 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 vehicle I have, whether it's slow, fast or anything, I always like to know what it can do. Uh, you know, being a, a quarter mile guy and stuff, well, you, you just, uh, you're always thinking about performance. So, and I know this is not the bike for it. I mean, you know, you want to get a Hayabusa or a VMAX or, you know, the, 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 uh, Diablo or any of those type of bikes. Uh, or really, any super sport bike is, is, is a good drag bike. Pull this bike out there. Now, I don't mean a track bike. You know, I know a lot of guys like to, you know, hit the turns and go to the track or maybe a race race day. You know, they whatever. They go to a track and have a track day, rather. But, uh, you know, I haven't done that. That's something I'd like to do, too. But um, I'm more into, what do you think that muscle bike is? That uh, is it the, uh, is the Hayabusa? Uh, the H2, the Kawasaki H2, man, that's a badass performance bike. That's that's a badass bike. I I, I, I don't know, man. I, I would I'd like to ride one. I don't know if I'd like to own one or not, but uh, that's definitely a cool bike. Uh, let's see if you mail. Yeah. So yeah, that would be that would be kind of cool. So we got the H2, the V Max. I guess you could throw the uh, uh, the Diablo in there too. I mean, it's more of a, you know, big tire bike, you know, kind of a roadster type bike, you know. Let's see if I can get this thing, about four grand. Uh, yeah, so it's it's kind of cool that what this thing does, but, you know, it's just a little wheel stand. But, you know, the throttle cuts out a little bit. Um... But yeah, so what is a comfortable performance bike? That's a good topic. What's the most badass bike out there that's going to go from 0 to 60 in killer times, quarter miles in the low tens? Uh, definitely not the Diablo, I know. That's a 1050 bike. I think the best I've seen those guys run. The H2, I'm thinking it's the H2. Uh, um, I know the VMAX is fast, but the H2's got that supercharger on it. That's got to be the baddest. I'm not talking, you know, you got the double R's of every freaking manufacturer. They're quick, but I'm not talking about those bikes. I'm talking about, you know, basically sport type, uh, uh, sport touring bikes. Um, you know, bikes that you sit pretty much uh, upright. You know, a little aggressive, but not a lot. Um, the comfortable, badass bikes that can outrun most any bike in a quarter mile. H2, I got a nod to I got I to gotta give the nod to H2. So, all right, so we reached the destination that I punched in, but uh, maybe I'll punch in home, because I can be, whatever, 30 miles from home, and see what we get. Uh, I don't want 42, I hate 42. So let's try.
try that one. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm my 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 uh, what you call it? Uh, I vote for the H2 Kawasaki. I think it's badass, and they have a sports version, a super sports version of that, and that's badass too. But I, I don't like the lean over. I mean, I wouldn't mind owning one of those bikes, but it would be just something I'm just gonna hop, you know, just a short hop. You know, I, I don't. I just with my neck stuck up like this, and bars down there like that. Uh, I don't know. That just doesn't seem fun. This is just. But I guess if you're young, you don't give a shit. There's some nice houses around here. He has a nice little home with a, you know, that, that little home was just a little perfect for me. That's all I need. I don't need a big home. Palinta Road. That's where it wants me to turn. It's nice around here. Windy roads. It's nice homes. bike best performance bike out there i don't want to hear about the sport bikes we all know they're fast you guys use your bikes i mean i use my bike i want to use my bike for everything you know i like to go to the store with it and if i'm not picking up any big bundles or anything like that i think you know i think the bike is just fine you know and weather like this i just much rather hop on the bike than the car so you guys any of you guys use your bike just for you know doing errands or it's always just for cruising you know or just having a good time or or if it's a, if you're planning a trip or something you know, I don't know. I just, I just want to be on the bike. Let's go, Brandon. Ah. And um, yeah, like I said, I just want to be on the bike as much as I can, especially days like this when, you know, we, I got, we have now it's 68. You don't feel the, it's just a perfect temperature. Now, granted, it's a little bit windy, but it, you just feel the, uh, um, uh, just the warmth coming through is just so cool. I mean, I could just stay on this for so long. And these are kind of my new summer gloves, so this should be, they seem pretty comfortable now. So, I'm just going back the same way I did because this, this is not taking me farther south, it's taking me farther west. I want to go south. You know, ah, uh, just, uh, I think I, did I say it yesterday? I might have said it not yesterday when I did my other video. Boy, was I jealous, jealous of, uh, GS48. Uh, he always makes some nice comments on, uh, on my channel here and uh, boy he's got some beautiful scenery oh my god I'd love to be out in Arizona just the beautiful hills and the mountains in the background no mountains here where I'm at you know I, I want to uh, head out to the Blue Ridge Parkway when I know the Blue Ridge Parkway is probably you know when you go west in North Carolina you get to see a lot of uh, uh, you know, you can get more mountains and, and hills and uh, twisties, curvy roads and stuff like that. So, that's the future. I, I mean, I got plenty of riding to do, so it's not like, you know, well, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Uh, anytime you see the land clearing, that means uh, more houses are going up. They are building like here like crazy. Oh, we get a little sun. Eh, that's cool. They are building up here like crazy. You know, they're, uh, uh, they're the, we're right on the border of Clayton and Selma, and Clayton is where all the stores are, so it's not far. And a lot of people work in Raleigh, which is about a half hour to 45 minutes, so I guess it's kind of a good location. And, you know, it's it's fairly inexpensive. Not, you know, everything has gone up, so it's not as cheap as it used to be. I mean, homes that were $250,000 a year ago or 350000 you know. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, hopefully we can pick up some riding buddies soon. Um, my buddy with uh, his uh, Jixis, he's going to be selling it. So, you know, and then uh, my other buddy that has a Harley, you know, he only rides once every couple of months. And, work I'm still working on it now I got to do the front brakes I'm finishing the front brakes put tires on for and everything like that and just getting it all squared away so it's safe for him and his wife to ride 
they don't ride much so so the riding buddy I thought I was gonna have is not happening um, so I guess that's it I, I don't know I'm, I'm, I guess I'll find somebody or I'll just be that loner you know I gotta take a ride back up to New Jersey when the weather gets warm uh, Paul doesn't have any more bikes my buddy Paul but uh, Joe does and I'm sure he'd love to go riding so definitely got to make a, a plan and go up there it'd be a nice cruise people throw their garbage on the side of the road I hate to see that but for the most part the roads are really nice too and they're nice and smooth and with a bike like this you know it's just so it's just a pleasure to ride 